What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to JoJo Speaks, and thank you guys for joining me for another video. So what I wanted to do today is give you my thoughts um, and my review on this documentary that I watched on Peacock. It's called 1,275 Days. Um, it is a documentary concerning a young man by the name of Blake Lehman. Uh, he was involved in a robbery in where he and three other accomplices by the name of Denzel, Anthony, and Jose, uh, they burglarized a home um, and they were just trying to, you know, burglarize it. And uh, in the commission of that crime, the homeowner came and actually shot Denzel. He also shot uh, Blake as well, um, and Denzel ended up dying. Um, and therefore, the three who did not die were then charged with felony murder um, for Denzel being killed in the commission of that crime. Um, and so this is a, a topic that I wanted to discuss because I'm really, really into criminal law. I'm really into seeing how people are punished and, you know, for the crimes that they do. Um, I'm really, really um, adamant about those types of things. So when I watched this particular documentary, um, I, when I came into it, I'd already heard about the case before. Um, I did not know what actually ended up happening to Blake um, uh, as far as what happened after his appeals and things of that nature. But um, this document, documentary gave me all the information that I needed. So what ended up happening was uh, Blake was uh, Blake was charged as well as um, as well as uh, Ho uh, Anthony and Jose. Uh, now, Jose actually ended up taking a plea deal. Um, and he was sentenced to 45 years. Um, and then uh, Anthony and Blake ended up going to trial. Um, and when they went to trial, they were both found guilty of felony murder um, because Denzel was killed in the commission of that burglary. Um, someone has to be held accountable for it. They're not going to hold the man, the homeowner, accountable for it because he was protecting his property um, and his things. And so he's, he's, he's going to have a self-defense claim. So, of course, he's not going to be charged uh, with that particular crime. So, who's going to be charged with it? Those who were involved in the initial burglary. Uh, so, this is something that I wanted to talk about because I feel that the charge of felony murder um, for someone dying in the commission of a burglary um, who is involved in that, in that burglary, someone being charged with felony murder, which is the equivalent of first degree murder, which is where you can be sentenced um, for up to life in prison for. And I feel as though um, that felony murder is a little bit of a harsh charge for that. I feel as though those who are who are um, in that type of situation uh, would be would be better off being charged with uh, involuntary manslaughter. Um, because felony murder sounds as if you uh, you intended for someone to uh, to die uh, during that particular crime, and these three other guys did not think that Denzel was going to be killed uh, while they were burglarizing this particular person's home, um, and so I feel as though it's it's a better a better charge to be charged with involuntary manslaughter as opposed to felony murder, um, and and that's just my my opinion on it. I do still feel like they should be. They should be held accountable for uh, that person being murdered because they went in um, and they were they were committing a crime. So I feel as though they should be held accountable. However, not for that top felony murder charge. I feel like that's going a little bit too far. Um, but someone has to be held accountable, and those people who were involved in the in the in the crime original crime itself are the ones who should be held accountable for that. But so what ended up happening with Blake was after he was sentenced. Uh, his family, his mother, um, also his sister, his girlfriend, uh, they were fighting for him to be free. They were fighting for his appeal. Um, they were fighting for him to get out because they felt as though um, he should, should have only been charged um, and convicted of uh, the burglary aspect of the crime um, and not the actual felony murder of that crime. So what ended up happening was Blake and his attorneys uh, they filed for an appeal, and so when they filed for that appeal, they took it to the uh, they took it to their their, their state supreme court, um, and so their state supreme court looked at the case, um, and eventually he was actually uh, he was he was actually uh, um, uh, released of those charges. Uh, he was uh, those charges of felony murder were overturned, um, and he was only charged with the burglary. Um, and by that time, he had served about three years, and so he um, just had to serve a couple of more months, and then he was uh, released. Um, now, do I agree with that? I 
don't necessarily agree with that because I feel as though he should have served a little bit more time because someone was actually killed um, in the commission of that crime. Um, but I did feel for him. And the reason why I felt for him is because while you're watching this documentary, um, they're actually have um, they're actually filming Blake in jail. And you can tell that Blake is Blake is a really, really nice guy. Um, it, it's just that he made a mistake. And of course, plenty of us make mistakes, but that was a fairly, fairly bad mistake that he made. And, you know, I, 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 just, I just felt so, 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 so bad uh, for Blake because you could tell that he had a good heart. He had a family, he had a mother, he had a fiance who, um, who was struggling with the decision as to whether she was going to stick with that with, would stick this out with him because um, Blake was initially um, sentenced to 55 years in prison for the felony murder, murder charge. And, you know, she wanted to stick by her man. And, you know, I really, really do understand that. But her mother and her father were saying, you know, if this man's going to be in jail for this amount of time, then you don't want to be attached to this type of person where you can't have that that physical contact uh, with them. Um, but thankfully, um, Blake is now out of jail. And um, and so I want to know, what are your thoughts on a case like this? If someone is, or if a group of people um, are, are committing an act of burglary, um, and one of the accomplices ends up being killed um, during the commission of that burglary, uh, do you think that those accomplices should be charged with their murder? And if so, what type of charge? Should it be a felony murder? Should it be manslaughter? What, 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 what are your thoughts on that? So tell me that in the comments, um, and I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you subscribe and share my channel with the world. Peace out, you guys.